okay 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 it is crypto faceless i remain faceless i remain nameless guys back at it again poolside as usual got another zen video for you guys zen update x1 update solana zen update let's get straight into it of course hit the like let's get the algorithm going let's uh uh subscribe up the video get this alpha as usual we got another good day in the market zen is up five to six percent today a lot's been going on so let's uh let's get straight into it all right well, first let's start with the wider market right we got you know the crypto market is picking up like crazy um you btc above 70k who would have <laughs> who would have ever thought we see you know uh higher than 70k again right <laughs> it's been such a while right um uh, we went as high as 71,900, like almost 72,000, right? <laughs> kind of crazy. We also saw Ethereum blast up yesterday, $3,700, nearly a 20% jump in a day. When was the last time we saw Ethereum jump nearly 20% in a day, guys? Crazy, crazy, crazy things happening in the crypto space. Um, of course, this is coming off of the anticipation for the Ethereum spot ETF, which is huge, guys. Huge, 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 huge news. The Ethereum spot ETF approval it hasn't been approved yet, but of course, you know, it's coming up, right? Uh, if you've been living under a rock or if you haven't been following the channel, make sure you're following the channel. Also, make sure you follow me on x.com uh, at Calico Zone six all right that's where i'm dropping all the you know i can't make a video uh, every day uh, i'm gonna try to be more consistent with my videos like i was before but i've just been so busy but i am posting on uh on twitter a lot so I'm on x right anyway so yeah ethereum spot etf decision is going to be in a couple days right it's going to be in um i believe they have to make a decision by thursday um and it could be delayed it's not like a deadline like, it could be you know it could be a thing where this thing gets approved later on in the summer. I think the deadline for a lot of these uh, ETF decisions need to be around like August, I believe. It's going to be around August, right? So um, a lot of people are thinking that this thing is going to be approved, right? The smart people in the space are saying that this is not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. It's not a matter of if, guys. It's a matter of when, right? That's that, that it, This thing is going to be approved at some time during this cycle, Okay. Uh, initially, we had Coinbase coming out and saying that there's a 30 to 40 percent chance that we're going to get the approval, right? Which is, which pretty much got the you know, the whole market uh, excited. I, I did post about that on X. Uh, make sure you're following me. Uh, and then just yesterday, we had Bloomberg come out and say um, they actually moved up their odds from 25 percent to 75 percent. Right? At first, they were saying. 25% chances that we're going to see this ETF get approved. And then now they just said, nope, 75% chances we're going to see this thing get approved. The market just went crazy. The market went absolutely ballistic. And we saw what we saw yesterday. We saw Ethereum go up like 20% in a day. When was the last time we saw that with Ethereum? Um, absolutely crazy. Now, now you might be asking, crypto face, why is this important? What does this have to do with Zen? I'm going to get into it, right? <laughs> if you've been following my channel for any significant period of time, guys, you know that I always say Ethereum is a leading indicator for the rest of the alt market, right? The way we see things happen every single, like every single bull run is we see Ethereum go first, well, before that, Bitcoin goes first, and then we see Ethereum blow off, and then we see the altcoins go crazy. Mid caps, the higher caps, and the mid caps, and the low caps, and then we see, you know, just craziness in the alt season, right? Um, and that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing the first stages of Ethereum blow up. And as Ethereum blows up in this anticipation for the ETF, uh, <sighs> We're going to see an alt season like we've never seen before, guys. We've never had an alt season where we had a Bitcoin ETF and an Ethereum spot ETF. This is uncharted territory, stuff that we've never seen before. This is going to be crazy. We're going to have the biggest alt season that we've ever seen. Now, just letting you guys know, okay? This is going to affect everything, including Zen, right? This is going to affect all the altcoins, 
especially the altcoins on the Ethereum network. We're going to see all those altcoins that haven't been doing anything and uh, start to pick up, right? And we're seeing that right now. We saw the 20% or the 18% rise in Ethereum just yesterday. And then we saw all the alts start going, especially those alts on Ethereum started to go up, right? We were up 5 to 6% on Zen um, today. And um, here's the thing. We haven't seen an alt season yet, guys. We haven't seen an alt season. Up until now, we haven't seen a real alt season. We've only seen like memes. Like this whole market has been memes, right? If you think about it, we did have that little AI kind of jump towards the very very early stages of the bull market and then we had the gaming sector have a little bit of a jump again towards the early stages of the bull market and then the rest of the time has been just meme coins meme coins meme coins meme coins right i told you guys i was playing in a lot of meme coins about a month ago i mentioned that i bought palm um palm coin and uh i literally just left in my wallet forgot about it i just opened up my wallet the other day i tweeted about this about the other day, I opened up my Solana wallet, and it's 10x. It's literally 10x. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Pump Coin. It might be a nice one to get into. I think it's going to be uh, a good one for the cycle. I think it's like a $2 million market cap. It might have went down. Um, but anyway, yeah, same thing. Osaka. Osaka is, 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 has been doing great for us. Go check out my Osaka protocol video I made the other day. Um, but, yeah, we've been make, making a killing on Osaka, and it's starting to go up again as well. <laughs> Just yesterday, right? Um, so yeah, this whole cycle has been all about meme coins, okay? Meme coins, meme coins, meme coins. Now, when we get a real altcoin season, it's not going to be just meme coins. It's going to be every single altcoin in this market. All of them. All of them are going to go up every single day, 20%, 30%, 20%, 30%, double up, double up, double up, double up. You're going to get so tired of making gains. You're just going to be like, oh man, I'm... I <laughs> You're going to get tired of making games. It's going to be crazy, guys. That's a real alt season. If you haven't been in a bull run before, I'm letting you know right now. Alt season is when every single alt in the space goes up. And we have not seen that yet. We have not seen that yet. But we're going to see that very, very soon. And the leading indicator for that is Ethereum. Is Ethereum, guys. So you should be excited about what's going on. Let's talk about Zen. You should be excited about Zen. You should be excited about Solana Zen, Sol Zen. You should be excited about X1. Now, let me explain, okay? You might say, Crypto Face, let's watch it. They'll be excited. Nothing's happening. No, it's going to happen. Don't worry. Things are brewing. Things are brewing, guys, okay? First, we have Solana Zen. It's coming out soon. Jack already said it. It's coming out next week. I believe he said that over the weekend. So maybe this week, maybe next week, somewhere, you know, very soon we're going to get Sol Zen. Okay, now you might be thinking, why do we need Sol Zen? A lot of people chattering in the space in the Zen ecosystem. Why do we need Sol Zen? Why not just come out with X1? All right, let me tell you. Sol Zen is the marketing tool for X1. We already have Jack coming out on the record saying that. He already said that in Telegram. He said that in one of the uh, video interviews. He said it's marketing. Okay, we have Zen Zhu, the other lead developer on Zen and X1. He did a live stream the other day, right, or a week ago, week and a half ago, uh, in which he explained he explained everything about Sol Zen and um, the reasoning behind Sol Zen and everything like that. He came out and already said that this is the marketing, all right? Zen on Solana is marketing for X1. Okay, I uh, encourage everybody to go watch that live stream. It was very very informative about. The reasoning behind Solana Zen, okay? Uh, he did say, and I'm just going to give you a kind of like a um, what it was in a nutshell. He did say that it is a stress test for the Solana ecosystem. Zen on Solana is stress testing the Solana ecosystem. They're going to see if they can handle the load that the Zen community brings to the Solana blockchain, okay? Um, and they're going to have to ask themselves some serious questions, right? I'm talking about the Solana people, right? The Solana de de developers, right? They're going to have to ask themselves, can they handle this load? Or are they going to have to rebuild their blockchain, right? They're going to have to ask themselves those serious questions. Now, um, I think that they're going to have to rebuild aspects of their blockchain, right? Uh, here's the thing. Jack is very smart the way that he did it. He incentivized everybody to go over and mine zen on solana 
So how did he do that? He told them you're going to get an XN allocation, right? Everybody's motivated by money. That's it. You tell them that you're going you're gonna to get money, people are going to go do it, right? So you're going to get an XN allocation for X1, right? Um, if you mine Solana Zen. OK, so what's going to happen? You're going to see people flock towards mining Solana Zen. And we've already seen that on testnet. We're seeing that right now on testnet. Everybody is practicing uh, load, you know, mining Sol Zen. And that's going to clog up the Solana system. Yes, the Solana developers are going to figure out they're going to figure out a way how to get around it. They're going to rebuild their blockchain. They're going to fix the problems. But in the meantime, when their blockchain has problems and starts to slow down or even halt, people are going to say, oh, why is Solana not working again? They're going to say, oh, uh, it's those Zen guys. Who are those Zen guys? They're going to look into Zen and they're going to say, oh, X1. Zen has another product coming out called X1. They're coming out with their own layer one blockchain. And then that's when Jack is going to drop X1 right it's the marketing tool for the x1 blockchain that's why solana zen is very important right now all eyes are on solana right that's where all the meme coin fun is and as i just said every single like this whole cycle is all about meme coins right so all the eyes are on solana how do we get all those eyes we can get a lot of those eyes or a huge market share of those guys we can get over to x1 if we can make noise on Solana and that's what Sol Zen is for okay uh, and it's not gonna be a thing where people are saying oh he, he's just focusing on you know Sol Zen and he doesn't care about X1 and first of all <laughs> Zen Zhu in his I'll read it verbatim this is a quote in his last live stream go check it out he said this project talking about Sol Zen uh, this project will overlap with X1. This is a overlapping project. This is not a replacement project. Sol Zen is overlapping. Overlap means we're doing it at the same time. Okay? This is an overlap with X1. It's definitely part of the X1 growth strategy. Meaning it's marketing. It's a part of the X1 growth strategy. This is going to make sure the X1 is gets adoption straight away, gets noise, makes noise, gets eyeballs, right? And then he went on to say that network hacking is what we do best. This is what they plan on doing. They plan on hacking the network, hacking Solana, breaking it for some time. Of course, Solana will f figure out a way how to fix the chain. And then that's when we drop X1 and then we get max eyeballs on X1. Now, we're going to drop X1 in probably the biggest altcoin cycle that we've ever seen. This is what you have to understand. X1 is going to come out after Sol Zen and is probably going to drop in the biggest alt season that we've ever seen. We've never had an alt season where we have a Bitcoin ETF and we have an Ethereum ETF. And we already said that the chances are very high that we might get this ETF um, this week, right on Thursday, a couple days from now. But even if we don't, it doesn't really make a difference because I always say on the channel, it's all about the anticipation. It's not about the actual, you know, the uh you know getting the approval no it's about the anticipation of the approval we saw what happened with the anticipation of bitcoin remember uh, we started the channel at what at twenty thousand dollar bitcoin we went from 20k all the way to 70k off of the back of the anticipation of the bitcoin etf approval and the price went up crazy so what we're going to see now is even if we don't get the etf uh, Ethereum ETF approval. We're gonna see um, it get approved eventually, deadline in August. But we're gonna see anticipation galore. People are gonna be shooting up the price of Ethereum galore. It's gonna go up crazy because of the anticipation of the approval of the Ethereum spot ETF. And we're gonna see a crazy alt season because of it. And we're gonna see all coins on Ethereum go up crazy. And we're going to see, in my opinion, Zen go 1000x. That's my opinion. It's probably not yours. Prove me wrong in the comment section, guys. It is crypto faceless. I remain faceless. I remain nameless, guys. I'm out. Take care.